We just walked along the canal um, next to our offices, Ecotricity offices in Stroud. Uh, there we saw a few birds, uh, chaffinch, robin, great tip. And then we went to uh, John State's, place where you can buy animal feed and outdoor stuff. And there the, the guys in the shop are really enthusiastic bird watchers. And they've got some telescopes set up and some bird feeders on the other side of the road, which is great. So we were actually there in the warm, uh, looking for birds just next to the main road. And there we saw robins, we saw chaffinches. We're really lucky in Stroud to have such a wonderful little river next to our offices because here we get things like the dipper, one of Britain's rarer birds breeding on here. Also many of the common woodland birds are around. We, we saw a great spotted woodpecker, uh, these chaffinches calling above me. I can hear a robin singing. Uh, many of the, the birds that um, you typically find on a winter's day. And there are a mixture of people who know a little bit about birds, who know nothing about birds, but everybody had seen birds in their garden. And actually just having a few experts there and a bit of information really fired up enthusiasm with people for, for looking at birds and counting birds and appreciating our British wildlife. The Big Garden Bird Watch, RSPB has been running since 1979. It's in its 40th year. In the first year, they had 34,000 people taking part. It's completely amazing. And it's now become one of the world's biggest citizen science projects. Every year, half a million people take part. And with so many people taking part and running over such a long period of time, it actually generates really good scientific data on the trends and changes in some of our common and some of our rarer birds in, throughout the British Isles. So anybody can take part in the, the Big Garden Bird Watch 2019. Just go onto the RSPB website and either order a hard copy of the form or just download um, one of these uh, recording forms. It's really simple to fill in with instructions, recording birds, but also asking people to record um, animals and mammals that they've seen in the garden. And it's really good because it also gives you little illustrations of the, the most common birds you're likely to see. It's a really simple format. Just sit for one hour in your garden or in your office window or in your park and record the birds you see there on this little checklist, and I then fill it in and send it back on um, with an email back on their website. You can be contributing to, to part of the world's biggest citizen science project and help the RSPB and help the birds in our country.